Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell C-Wire adapter and what it does and kind of why you need to use it. Now, I have a couple thermostats here. These are Honeywell models. Right here on the right is the older style, uh, very popular programmable Honeywell thermostat, the RTH series. And this is the base plate, and it might be familiar to you. Uh, but this right here does not use the C-Wire adapter, okay? So if you have this style base plate, this is not the video for you. Check out my other videos covering all the different topics on the older style thermostat. What this is used for, this C-Wire adapter here, is actually for these newer smart thermostats like the T5, T6, uh, T7, T8, T9, T10. There's, there's all sorts of different models that Honeywell makes that are Wi-Fi enabled, thermostats, smart thermostats. So this is why you would need a C-wire adapter. And what does a C-wire adapter do? It basically provides a common wire, the C-wire, uh, to power up the unit, okay, to power up the smart thermostat in order to actually uh, provide Wi-Fi and make connection, uh, to do proximity stuff, things like that. But it, essentially, it's another power wire. Now, I go over other methods, alternate ways. There's actually two other ways that I figured out or, you know, that you could use um, to power up a smart thermostat. I will go into that in separate videos, but this one here is going to be covering the Honeywell C-Wire adapter. Okay, so this is going to work with this style base plate. This is the Honeywell UMP12. Okay, and this is the base plate you want to use when you have a Honeywell C-Wire adapter. Now, there's two sides to this, okay? As you can see, I have these kind of like these short leads here. So if you have a four-wire system, okay? So if you look behind your thermostat, you pull your thermostat off the wall and you look at the base plate and you only have four wires to work with and you don't have, okay, this is just like a small section of wire here, but if you pull this out of the wall and you only see four wires and you want to install a smart thermostat just like we have here, this T6, you're going to need this device right here, okay? And I will show you just in a few moments how to do that. Now, before that, you want to, what you want to do is actually pull this wire out of the wall, okay? And see just in case you have an extra wire or two attached to this brown wire, okay? That's inside your wall. Now, if there is... Uh, you're in luck. You can possibly use that extra wire. You need one single wire, uh, this blue common wire, to hook up at your furnace and then ho also hook up at your thermostat. So if you have an extra wire that's like, you know, kind of coiled around this brown one just to tuck it out of the way, you first want to check that. But if you pull this out of the wall and you see only four wires, well, you're still going to have to use the C-wire adapter. Okay, and like I said, there's two sides to this unit. Okay, this side here is the side that goes to the thermostat. And this side here with the pre-wired pigtail, kind of this harness, this extension here that has the leads already, already made for you with nice stickers and labeling, this goes to the furnace side. Now, there's a little magnetic sticky right here. This is essentially meant to live on your furnace. Okay, so this goes in between your furnace and the thermostat, but it's going to be located basically where your furnace is. So if your furnace is in the basement, you're going to attach this to your furnace. You're going to hook up this side here, five wires. Okay, we have our red wire, which is 24 volts from the transformer. Okay, a yellow wire, which is for your first stage cooling. A blue common wire, which is the C wire. We have a green wire, which is for your fan or air handler and a W wire, which is for your heating first stage. It basically converts a four wire system into a five wire system, four wires plus that common wire making five wires. Okay, so that allows you to run those smart thermostats. It's like Google Nest, uh, your Amazon Alexa, Amazon smart thermostat. And in it, this case here, the T6, okay? So, Takes, takes a five wire, turns it into four wires. Now, how does it do that? Okay, so what happens is it basically converts the green wire into the common wire, and then it makes the yellow wire 
play double duty. So it's going to do both fan and cooling, and it, it, it gets turned to the K wire. So that w yellow wire is your K wire, which serves two functions. Now, th there's a downside to this because now, since it serves two functions such as cooling and fan, you don't have the ability to turn your fan on independently from your cooling. That's one downside to doing this. Uh, but if you have to do it, then do it, okay? But this is how you would at attach the adapter. Like I said, at the furnace, this side goes to the equipment, to the control panel on your furnace, okay? There's, there's labels on here, and then there's labeling on your control panel terminals. You would attach those accordingly. And then this side here goes to the thermostat. Your W, your white wire goes to W, as you can see here. Your C wire now is the green wire. K wire is the yellow wire. And the R terminal here for red wire is still red. And I'm going to go ahead and show this hooked up to this base plate and show you what that looks like. Okay, but it's very simple. You just take in these four wires and now connecting them on the UMP base plate as, as you see them. Okay, so here we have the UMP base plate already all hooked up with the wires in place. Like I said, only four wires needed for this. You're converting those five wires into a four wire with the K wire, which is the yellow wire, attached to the K terminal, playing double duty, your fan and your cooling. And then as you see here, we have the white hooked up to the W terminal, the red wire hooked up to the R terminal, and the green wire, our common wire, hooked up to the C terminal. Okay, this is how you would hook it up on the base plate. And that's pretty much how you would hook up the C-wire adapter for the Honeywell thermostat using the Honeywell C-wire adapter. Very simple. I have other videos going over different wiring schemes depending on what kind of wires you have available, heat only, cool only, or heating and cooling with heat pump. So check out those other videos. I will link them down below the video. But this here covers the Honeywell C-wire adapter. Check out my other video coming up on a separate type of way to power up a smart thermostat. And I will cover the Google Nest and the Amazon Alexa smart thermostat in that video and show you a different method, not using something like this, but something very similar, okay? So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and I will link it down below the video and the, in the upper cards on the, on the upper right. So please go check that out. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.